what is the to do app? Think about it this way. We all multitask. You know, we're multitask individuals. We use multiple methods to manage our daily lives. You know, we talk about post, you know, post notes or whiteboard. Somewhere we're going to write down things that we need to do. And with Microsoft To Do, it's a cloud based um, application that allows you to track your information. Think of it in this sense. It is an assistant to staying on track of your work task or your honey-do list, or remember to pick up donuts for the kids, you know, school event next week. You can set reminders. You can actually share your task and much more. I'm actually in New Outlook, and a couple of things I wanted to share with you is you can actually um, save a flagged email and it will go to your to-do app. Now up here, I hope you can see this clearly. Here is the my day icon. If you click on this, you can see a summary of all your task items. You can actually drag an event. And when you drag an event, you can say add it as my task as well as you have the option to add it as an event. And when you add it as event, you will actually be able to specify what date and time you would actually want to work on this. So, so let's say I wanna work on this on Friday at two o'clock. It is on my calendar already reserved. And if I add it as a task, it would go to my to-do list. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit this icon here to flag a message. It's gonna appear as well. Now, couple things. I have all my tasks here. If I right click on this, I have the option to add it to my day. That means that it's going to be in my task list for today and it's going to remind me I need to work on it. I can mark it as important. It could be marked as completed. I can change and edit the title. Think of it in this sense right now, whatever subject line is for that email is what's going to appear in your task. You may decide you want to change that and you can do that. If you block time, again, it's going to go on your calendar. You can set reminders. So let's say that I want to be reminded next week or even on a custom date to say I need to work on this particular task. I recommend that you give every task a due date. Right. Think about in the classic version, we never would put a date on it. So they just sit out there. And so I strongly recommend that you always give it a due date because you can change it if you need to. Um, you can move this item up and down this list. Just notice I have a lot of items here. You can also see the little um, six dots there. If you grab on that, you can move things around if you like. So you want your things that you want to work on um, first, more so at the, at the top. And there's a few more. You can open right up to go to the to-do application, or you can delete. Down here at the bottom, you will also see manage all tasks. So let's go there, because that's going to open up the to-do app in the browser. So let me tell you what you see here. I'm going to just go across the top. Let me click on all um, applications. So I have all my application, mm -mm, all my tasks here, and I can click on these three dots. I have the ability to change the theme. All that's going to do is just change the color. Notice how this turned green and then these um, dots here turn green. I can do that. I always have had the ability to print the list as well. I can sort this list if I like. You have multiple ways. You can do it by due date. You can you know, add it to my day. You can sort alphabetically or creation date. So that's good. You can also group them by categories. Notice that the categories are coming from, if you have assigned an email, to a category, it's gonna group it by that. And we'll, I'll show you a little bit later on when you create one and sign a category. So again, it's just going to filter and help you find your task easily. And click on the X 
just to remove that. Okay. If we go down the left navigation, again, these are just filtering on your tasks based on important or if it was planned and I can see some that was done earlier. You have completed items. Sign to me. The reason why I wanted to show you a sign to me is because this information is being pulled from the planner. So any doesn't matter with the planner if there's multiple projects that you are on and um, you are assigned a task, it will show here. Flagged emails. So anything that is flagged, it will show up here and any task that you create in Outlook or in this application will show up. So let me talk about what you see down here. You can create a new list. Just give it a name. I'm just going to call this personal two. Just hit enter. That's creating a list. I also <clears throat> have you also can group. So let me show you this. I've created a list called EBC for um, eBusiness Connect. And I created a task list and I call this one as my template because every you know two weeks I have to create a presentation. I need to make sure I update my website and create social media posts. So this is my template. I don't have to, you know, mess with this one because I want to be able to, I want to be able to duplicate this list for. August 9th or 24th, because now I'm starting fresh. So let me take you and walk you through some of the components when you create a task. So if I was creating a new task, I give that task a name. Get donuts for school event. So when I do this, I can click on it. I can add steps. So if I add steps, I need to know the number of students. I need to remember to call, you know, Miss Adams and and ask for the number of students. I may need to I need to know what time to drop off donuts. So there might be some things that I need to do and I can create those steps. I can add it on my day. I'll talk about the workflow in a minute, you know, what your morning workflow should look like. I can set reminders in here as well. You can set a due date. I know this got to be done next week. You can, if this happened to be a reoccurring event, let's say I have to do this on a monthly basis. So again, I can make this reoccurring. You can add um, categories, which is really nice. So I can sign it to um, I create one for like maybe for a school event and any uh, um, files that I need to attach. I can add this as well and any notes. So it's really good. Let me walk you through a couple of things I want you to notice. When you're looking at the different um, tasks, notice um these at a glances this is letting me know that this has some steps zero of two steps has been completed i know that this is a due is due on the 14th um this happened to be overdue so keep keep in mind that you have the ability to look here's another one that's showing that this is overdue as well as um virtual it's part of a virtual brunch category. So keep that in mind. Let's talk about my day. So again, my day, I can look, look at any of my tasks and just assign it. Let's go back to task. I can come here and say, I want to focus on this today. I just assign it. And now I can quickly come in here and look at the task for today that I want to work on. So let me go back to the calendar. So I talk about workflow. So this is what I want you to think about your workflow. In the mornings, you always turn on that computer. 
and you're looking at your emails. You're going to respond to emails that is like two minutes or less of your time. You're going to now think about some of the remaining ones that's going to take more of your time to respond to or act on. That's when you want to drag an item right into your task list so you can focus on it. And you have this quick little sidebar. Again, you can turn this on or off and have your task right in front of you. And very similar to Outlook um, Classic, but again, what makes this different that all tasks from um, multiple platforms, we talked about loop component, as well as from the planner will show up here. So that's all I have for you today. Terrific. Teresa B. Cyrus at Track Creations 4E in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Connecting up with us here in London at eBusiness Connect. Um, you know who we are. Well, if you don't, then you should. At least ways. That's how I like to think about it. So uh, I'll just borrow from Teresa. And, you know, if you found anything out here that actually makes sense to you, that you like, or that is logical and that's helpful, then um, go do your magic. Thanks, Teresa.